Hi, this is Clayton Horde with Pro Co-op. For this week's Monday Minute, we're going to cover some of the factors going into the, the nitrification cycle. We have a little demo that's going to show you how positive and negative ions work within the soil profile and how leaching and the nitrification process are hindered. So what we have for demonstration today is three tubes full of sand and water, which represent the soil profile of the root zone in your fields. What also we have is three different tubes of water. On the far left, we have orange, which is a negatively charged dye. In the middle, we have blue, which is a positively charged dye. And on the right, we've combined the orange and the blue, so there's positively and negatively charged dye within that tube itself. So what this demonstration is trying to represent is the multiple forms of nitrogen that you have in the soil. The orange, the negatively charged, is going to be your nitrate, your NO3. The blue is going to be the positively charged ammonium form, NH3. And on the right-hand side, we have both forms of nitrogen as the process is being converted from NH3 to NO3 in the springtime when you have warm temperatures. So what we're trying to demonstrate to you is how the nitrogen moves throughout the soil profile. As you're going to see on the left-hand side, the orange is going to move through the soil profile because the soil is negatively charged. It is not attracted to the orange and it will move straight through and fall on the bottom of the container. The blue, because it's positively charged, will bind to the soil profile, and you're going to see at the end of this demonstration, the blue is going to be in the top half of the soil, where it's usable by plants and it's not going to leach through and contaminate any of the groundwater. And on the right-hand side, although it looks like a really dark mess right now, after it works its way through the soil profile, you're going to have the negatively charged orange dye fall straight through into the bottom. The blue is going to stay at the top and it's going to be usable for that plant to have. This is why having a nitrification inhibitor is really important to add to your anhydrous to keep that form of nitrogen into something that's not susceptible to leaching. There's bacteria in the soil that will convert it over, and if you're able to stop and control the bacteria in the soil, you won't have as much susceptible to leaching. At this point, you're really starting to see some of the different forms separate. At the bottom, you can see that the orange and negatively charged is starting to get into the containers, while the blue is starting to shift towards the top and is not susceptible to leaching throughout the soil profile. As we get closer to the end of the experiment, you can see that there's really no orange um, negatively charged ions near the top of the soil profile. They have all completely leached through the soil profile, and the only thing remaining in the top is the positive blue charged ions. This is really evident when you compare the middle one to the one on the left and the right. At the bottom of the left and right, there's a lot more orange tinge to it where the negative is getting through. In the middle, you can really tell the top is really dark blue, and so is the right where the positive charge is not able to get to the bottom of that soil profile. If you have any questions on nitrogen and keeping it in a form that's available to your plants, contact your local ProCoop agronomist.